Hi, I'm Deborah Bella and I'm here in Malta. Ever since I found out that my dad was born in a cave during one of the heaviest bombing raids of World War II, I was curious to know more. So I did lots of research about why he was born in a cave, uh, why he was born during a bombing raid, and I discovered a lot of interesting information that I knew would make a fantastic story for kids. Malta is a series of islands in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. It is full of beautiful sandstone churches, palaces and fortified cities. Malta is an ancient country, home to some of the oldest structures in the world, even older than the pyramids. During World War II, Malta found itself between the battlefronts of Europe and North Africa. The Axis powers, led by Hitler, decided if they conquered Malta, they'd have a huge advantage of winning the war. For three years, Malta was bombed, but the Germans didn't win. Malta had no military to defend themselves, but they did something else very clever. The Maltese people dug a series of tunnels into the rocky island, and when the Germans attacked, they would disappear underground, which is why my dad was born in a cave. The roof is getting a little bit low. To research Teresa, I traveled to Malta and visited the tunnels. Entire villages worked together to build these amazing networks of underground shelters. So it would have been a tunnel pretty much exactly like this that George and Teresa and their families would have had to have sheltered in to hide from the German bombing raids. When the war was over, Malta was in ruins. At the same time, Australia had a small population and invited many people from countries affected by the war to start a new life. Between 1950 and 1960, over one million people travelled from their countries to make Australia their home. And my dad was one of them. And that's why Teresa, for me, made such a fascinating story, because it's not just my dad's story. It's about so many people who live in Australia today. In 2016, the Maltese translation of Teresa was launched by the president of Malta. It was a huge honour for me to be invited to the palace to tell my family's story and to have the book launched in the country where it all began.